Hey guys, it's Chelsea and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So today I am feeling quite the hungry and I am up for a feast. So I thought I would film a, another mukbang for you guys. So I'm so excited. You guys know I love my food and I love my mukbangs and I'm sure you guys do too because you guys always request them. So yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram what mukbangs you want to see and the Hungry Jacks one, which is kind of random because I didn't even think Hungry Jacks was that popular in Australia but I guess it is because everyone requested it um I don't really go to Hungry Jack's often I think I've had Hungry Jack's maybe three times in my life um so yeah not very often so I'm kind of keen to try out some new things because I never go there so I feel like it's gonna be fun trying out some new uh food from Hungry Jack's uh, so I'm just gonna go drive to Hungry Jack's now um I'll see you guys once I get there but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and continue watching Alright guys, I'm in the drive through and I really do not know what I want at all. But there's kind of like, there's like two cars in front of me so I've got time to think. Normally I'd get like some nuggets or something but their nuggets are terrible from here. I don't know if it was just that one time I've had them but they tasted like biting into rubber. The only thing I've ever tried from Hungry Jack's is nuggets, uh, chicken burger and chips so like there's lots to explore um yeah i would get nuggets but they weren't very good at all last time so not gonna have those and then we're getting ice cream Sorry about that. What can I get? all good um what flavor storms do you have uh we got um we got m and flake or oreo can i get an oreo storm do you have the hash brown cheeseburger by itself? Yes, we do. Yep, can I get that? Can I get the chicken royale in a um, medium meal? Um, can I just get a Coke, please? Um, no, that's all, thank you. Okay, confused with why that took so long. I mean, there must be very, not many people working. Oh, oh my god, we're here already to pay. Ah, oh, do I even have money? Honestly, no, but like, whatever. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my god, there's no room in my car. Oh my god, I thought she was there ready for me again. I was like, I'm not ready. Okay. It's okay. I spilled aura everywhere. The lid came off and literally Oreo is all in my car. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even being dramatic right now. Thank you. Yay. I don't want to hit this old man. Okay. I don't want to park all the way far away from those people. Oh, good park. <laughs> Love that. Okay. So. All right, so we are now ready to feast. I went to pick up my storm and show you guys. I was gonna say like, wow, that actually looks really yum. And um, Oreo spilled all in my car, so yeah. <laughs> it only fell in like the cup holder bit though, so like that's not gonna be an issue. Wait, these are pointless. You can't even lift the spoon out of it. Okay. Mm. I was just like, I never really eat that much ice cream. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of ice cream, but I was really just feeling it today. Okay. So. Mm. I'm going to be honest. Like, I, even though I've only had Hungry Jacks, like, three times in my life, um, the chips are insane. Like, they are pretty good chips. So, we got a chips. We got a chicken royale and we also got a cheeseburger a hash brown cheeseburger so it's just like a normal cheeseburger with hash brown so i uh, hope that will be pretty interesting i just realized of course i have to park next to someone that's sitting in their car awesome i just love that for me okay mm -hmm. i'm so excited oh these chips are really hot how could burning me Right, so, so keen to dig in. I feel like I'm gonna start with my chicken right now. So at least I know that's good. <laughs> good stuff.
I feel like I've got two different. Okay, this may all on my face. <laughs> I feel like I have two different moods and like personalities depending on the day like sometimes I'm so like I want to be like healthy fit bro like you know gym I mean I go to the gym every day pretty much but there's like a part of me that like eats like you know really good and really clean which is pretty much every other day that I'm not filming a mukbang and then there's just days like today where I'm like okay we're gonna be some Trisha Paytas and feast on some food because like it's good but like I feel like I've got two different moods like I never know what I'm gonna be I feel like that's the best life to live like a healthy legend um be also like you know a bit of junk food and a bit of a mukbang like that's your ideal life okay let's try this cheese hash brown cheeseburger I'm gonna lock my doors I always lock my doors I literally don't go anywhere without locking my doors because I just am nervous. Okay, this hash brown looks raw. So like, love that. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm a fan of her. What's even on her? Hash brown, made, there's a lot of sauce on here, which I'm surprised I like. I don't even like that much sauce. There's mayo, mustard, ketchup. Wow. Hmm. That's very interesting. I'm gonna dip some of my chips in my store. I love chips and ice cream. I always do it at Macca's and I also do my nuggets and ice cream and my burgers and ice cream. Literally anything in soft serve ice cream. Mm. Good stuff. Do you guys prefer beef or chicken burgers better? I prefer chicken, personally. I love chicken. Do you really have to come right next to me? Grumpy Chelsea. Um, yeah. Personally, I prefer chicken burgers and just chicken in general. I eat chicken pretty much every day. Um, when it comes to like be beef, I don't really eat it much. Like a steak, I hardly ever eat. I hardly eat any other meat. Like, I still enjoy it. I just, for some reason, don't eat it much. And prefer chicken 110% over meat. Mm. 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 I am so sore today. Yesterday, I did my first ever Zumba class. It was so much fun. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing more, but I'm so sore. We had to, like, lift up, like, little weights. Like, they were probably like, a kilo, but very weak. <laughs> um... I had to like dance with them and do like exercises like for your um biceps or triceps and literally I woke up this morning my back was like killing me and so my arms and I was like Cooper can you please massage me um so love that and yeah but I feel like really good it was such a good class and I like it was kind of fun being surrounded by all old people <laughs> like everyone in the class was like like how old like 25 and up maybe even older than 25 like I feel like maybe 30 and up and I was like the only young girl there but it was still good like I still enjoyed my time even though like I wasn't with any like, young people and they like made me look better because like you know I'm with older people but um like I was like yes rock it um but it was pretty fun and they were kind of like rocking it as well like this like older lady I was like okay how like can you like why do you kind of look better than me doing Zumba like excuse me <laughs> But it was fun. I would definitely recommend going to a Zumba class um, if you guys like, are interested. It's fun. I feel like I should have got a larger chips because these are so good. I'm going to put some chips on my burger. I mean, there's a hash brown on it, but the sauce is like getting to me. Like, I don't really like the sauce. So, I'm just going to try to cover it up with some chippies.
I'm not even getting full yet. What the fuck? morning I woke up right and I was just like I went to the gym and then I came back home and I was just like checking my phone and stuff um every morning or if not every morning like every night I reply back to you guys as like DMs on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like your comments and stuff yeah like if you guys ever want to have like a chat or anything or ask any questions I'll literally reply back to you don't be scared don't think you're being annoying like I'm so up for having a chat with you guys um but I like reply back to all my DMs and I started on with my Instagram comments. Then my newsfeed comments had like 20 like new comments, like maybe a bit less, but it was like 20 new comments. And I was like, okay, cool. And then it was literally all just like hate from like these randos that had like hate like me accounts. And I was like, okay, weird. Um and I was just reading them and I was like, this is like so irrelevant. Like why? do you feel the need like it doesn't even like affect me because it's so stupid and like they obviously know i'm gonna see it so like they like, do you know what i mean like i feel like they know i'm gonna see it. they want me to see it they want me to react to it so i'm just gonna ignore like i mean this isn't ignoring i'm telling you guys the story but um like i'm just not gonna reply back oh, oh my god why am i a mess today <laughs> oh my god i hate my life um and now there's lettuce on my hand <clears throat> okay um <laughs> why are these stories getting interrupted um but i was like okay cool like i'm just gonna ignore it. i don't really like care but then there was like i like checked to see like who was like following and like who they were following and i feel like they've bought like their followers like you know how like you do the oh my god lenas is falling everywhere like you know how you can buy like your followers like not with money but like on like the apps yeah i feel like they've done that because i went through who they were following i mean who was following them and it looked like a bunch of like those accounts that would be like on those apps kind of thing like fake accounts like i don't know it was so random but it was either like one of their real accounts maybe i don't know but it was so weird and i was like you obviously just made it like right now commented on my photos and you're never probably going to use it again like it's so Irrelevant, like, why do you feel the need to make that? Um, but, mm -hmm. Like, it was just comments like, oh, like, you're so obsessed with yourself, or, like, you're so irrelevant, like, okay, like, cares? <laughs> where, where are they? I, I don't know, it's just so stupid, but, and I feel like the best way is, like, you know, just like to like get over it and not like fight back like sometimes you know i probably sometimes would be in the mood to fight back and like let's start some tea but like most of the time it's not fucking worth it at all and i don't really get the point like i don't know so I've gotten so many questions about like what i'm doing now after high school and like what atar did i get and stuff so in New South Wales, where I live, we do like an ATAR system of HSC. So we do HSC and we get an ATAR from it. I don't know what it's like wherever you are, but that's how we do it in New South Wales. And um, you can choose at some schools whether you want to get an ATAR or not get an ATAR. And the ATAR basically is something that you get, like you get so you can go to uni. So it's like a big mark at the end. I think it's stupid because it's like... I don't know, I feel like it's just silly. It like, kind of like defines whether you can go to uni or not, if it's good enough. Um, I didn't get an ATAR because I knew I wasn't going to be interested in going to uni straight off to school. And probably never, just because, like, okay, bye, boring. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, I didn't get an ATAR. So, I was happy with that. My results from my HSC were good. I was really happy. I was just like average marks for someone that like tried a little bit but still had fun at school so that was that and then when it comes to next year with what i'm doing like i feel like everyone thinks they need like a like a dead set plan from when they finish high school to when they're married and have kids and they have to stick with that but like that's not true at all and i also don't believe that you have to go to uni straight after school like 
I've heard so many people say like, oh, I'm doing this at uni. I don't really want to do it, but like I got into the course, so I'm going to do it. And I'm like, why do you want to spend a whole year doing something that you know you're not interested in just to kind of be like, I'm going to uni. Like, I just think it's stupid. Um, like most of my friends and most of the people I know, like that's their, that, that's their situation. Or, no, I feel like you should just like kind of live your best life and have fun with yourself. Like if you know you don't want to do that course at uni, like why do it? Like if you don't know what you're interested in either, take a year off and find yourself and find out what you want to do. Don't rush into something either. Like, I don't know, wise words with Chelsea. That's what happens when you get non to students. Um, no, but sometimes I think I'm more wise than people. They've got 98 hearts, and I'm like, sorry. That's the team. I'm kidding, I'm actually not, but, you know. Um, but, so, next year, my plan is to live my best life, have time for myself. I feel like I haven't worked that much recently in the past, like, two, three weeks, and I literally have had the best time with myself ever, like, I get everything I want to get done. I can focus on things that I actually care about and want to do, like filming and editing and going to the gym and eating and spending time with my friends and family. Um, but, like, when I'm working, like, I can't do any of that. Like, I can do it, but it's always, like, rushed or very rarely. So, like, recently I've just been realising that, like, this is, like... Like, I want time to myself next year. Obviously, I'll be working, but I do not want to, like spend a whole year just working like I need time to like do stuff that I want to do because I feel like that's like your happiness and your, like yourself is more important than like money and work like obviously you need that and I'm going I'm planning to do that but like I don't know that's just my opinions um and once again like I was saying before I have no clue what career path I want to go through and like obviously I want to be sitting here and talking to you guys for my career but like if that doesn't work out and stuff like I, obviously i'm gonna need a backup plan which hopefully will still be in like the social media industry that's what i'm planning on um but things just have to take time to see so i have got to just see where this takes me um and if not then kind of think about my backup plans uh, i guess we'll just see and give it our best shot because that's all you can really do and whatever you guys are planning to do next year whether you're still in school out of school 30 years old just give everything your best shot and don't rush into decisions that like might waste your time you know what i mean aka uni that you don't want to go to oh my god it's so hot so i'm gonna turn my car up so i can turn on the icon just for a little bit it's really hot. This is the last little bit of the cheeseburger. So. Mm. Who's excited for Christmas, guys? I know fucking I am. I'm so excited. It's literally less than a week away. Like, where did that time go? Like, this year has gone so fast. It's literally the end of the year, which is crazy to me. I'm so annoyed I've got no chips left. <laughs> I wanted to end off with some chips, but I don't have any. This is mama chicken. We love the chicken. Chicken royale. It tastes exactly like my chicken. <laughs> Last bit. You know what? They're pretty generous with their like Oreo and ice cream. Like they do Oreo on bottom and then this Oreo on top. Very generous. And it's lots on top and the bottom. I wanted to get a Kit Kat storm, but apparently I don't have them anymore. I saw them ages ago. And I was like, oh that could be yum. But yeah, apparently that's not a thing. Maybe it was never a thing. I think it was. I remember seeing an ad. Also, guys, okay, if any of you guys won some type of Christmas giveaway, tell me your secret because I literally entered every single Christmas giveaway there could be on the earth and I didn't get one. Like, 
I literally ended everything. And I haven't won anything, so yay. I was literally like waiting every single day for me to like, you know, <laughs> you know, be like, oh, you won. And like, I just, it just never happened. Like I was waiting for Jacqueline Hill to message me being like, you won the Chanel bag and all my makeup. Like, I'm still waiting, even though the Christmas giveaway is over, I'm still waiting, Jacqueline, like... <coughs> anyway, it's fine, whatever. For reason, my stomach doesn't even feel that full, like I'm full, but like I don't feel sick, which, you know what, I'm impressed with myself. I'll probably like feel it in like half an hour, I'll be like, oh, I get it, I'm full, I'm so full. I thought this mukbang is going to be a long one, but I'm excited for you guys to watch. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Mm, now I'm full. Wait, it's here. Mm. Okay, guys, it hit me. You know what? I'm pretty impressed with this Hungry Jacks. It was actually pretty up. Uh, Pretty decent, pretty happy with everything I got. Let me know what mukbang you want next. Under Hungry Jacks, it like votes, it was Chinese. So if you guys want a Chinese one, let me know. I just feel like I'm, like when it comes to Chinese food, like I'm not cultured enough. Like I don't like enough Chinese food to film a Chinese mukbang. I feel like I only really like fried rice sardé chicken and like spring rolls so like that would be all in my mukbang because i don't really like anything else i mean like, i guess i could try and just like pretend i like it but like she's all done Yummy. Alrighty, everybody so that is the end of my mukbang that was a really good successful mukbang i literally finished everything to the drop and to the bite so yay Whew. if you guys don't ever have, eat hungry jacks like me go and try it it's actually kind of yum and it's really cheap as well um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what mukbang you guys want to see next and if you guys enjoyed this one and comment down below what you like getting from hungry jacks because i'd be curious to know you know in case i do another one what's yummy from there and what's not um, for me, I did not like the nuggets when I came here, so tell me if that was just that one time or if they're actually good. If you guys are new here or haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn the post notifications on. It would literally mean the absolute world to me. Uh, let's get to 10k. We're very, very close and it's very, very exciting. So click that subscribe button and tell a friend, share the video, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's get to 10k. But I love you all so, so much and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.